Six minutes past six on Kai FM 95.9. It's Thursday night. It's time when we do a song, a book, and a dish. My guest tonight is someone you know well, but you don't even know him by his real name. He is the cartoonist who's known as Zapiro. My guest, though, tonight is the cartoonist himself, Jonathan Shapiro. Jonathan, welcome to Kai FM. Thanks for giving us your time. Great, thanks. Nice to be with you, John. Salif Keita, the song's called Africa, Jonathan Shapiro's choice for his song in tonight's edition of A Song, A Book and a Dish. Music at home, I mean, was yours a house with a lot of music playing? And if so, what was? Um, the earliest music that I can remember, and it really was hugely influential for me when I was growing up, was uh, we had one, we had a record of King Kong, the original mm-hmm. Miriam Makeba uh, version. Uh, and, and we also had... Her first LP that she did with Harry, Harry Belafonte, I was lucky enough uh, through stuff that I did later to actually meet both of them uh, right. in really interesting circumstances. Um, yeah, so we had you know a bunch of LPs and we had these f- 45. So we, we used to play uh, musicals, uh, that sort of stuff uh, when I was when I was growing up. My dad was had been a pretty good classical musician, a violinist. Mm -hmm. So he taught me to love classical. We used to go to uh, the concerts every week at the City Hall. They had these fantastic, it was sort of a more popular version of the concerts on Sunday afternoons and then the big sort of grand ones on Thursday nights. We used to go to the Sunday afternoon thing straight from the beach, get into our clothes, go on the train and and go to the concert. Uh, I loved that. Uh, but of course, my main, main music, also was starting with my dad, he was into mainstream jazz. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I developed a huge passion for mainstream jazz, then moved on to sort of more progressive jazz and also blues. Uh, so th- those are things. I play the chromatic harmonica, just jam around with it. I made myself a T-box bass, which is one of the really comical instruments. Yes. You stand on top of it and plunk the thing. And, you know, I used to jam with my friends and stuff. We need to talk about food because this is called a song, a book, and a dish. Um, let me ask you this. You've chosen duck Thai green curry. Is that because it's your favorite food or is it a dish that has a particular memory attached to it? It's it's because it is uh, – I, I had to think which specific one. I really love oriental food. Mm-hmm. Um, I love sushi as well. But I but the duck green curry, that, that – that, well, green curry, I love, I love that and duck in particular – uh, but and Thai food generally, also Vietnamese food, mm-hmm. um, and our son has now learned to cook, and he's cooking fantastic Thai food. Where did you learn to draw? I mean, we was we just a kid, paper in front of you, crayons, four five years old, or did you actually have formal teaching quite early on? I. I used to go to uh, the then Frank Joubert Art Center uh, in, Cape some, Town. in Cape Town. Um, but that was really just sort of uh, kids drawing. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, I, I've, my sort of hobby horse at the moment is that you and I were exactly the same at three years old. And mm-hmm. so was everybody else here in the studio and everybody outside. We all drew drawings that looked fairly similar, unboundaried, rude, uh, straight from the heart, uh, and not self-conscious. That's what a three-year-old does. I mean, there's, there'll be very d- little difference between any of our drawings when we're three and the uh, drawings later. But it, it's it's later that the, some of us carry on drawing and some of us also carry on drawing in a kind of an unboundaried way. What, what, one of your regrets, as I understand from another interview, is the uh, depiction of the then head of the NDPP, <coughs> Sean Abrams, uh, using the image of the... the organ grinder and the monkey jacob yeah. zuma the organ grinder you depicted sean yeah. abrams as the monkey and, and if unless i'm misrepresenting you said you wish you hadn't done that yes because uh, ultimately the the look jacob zuma was the main target of the cartoon and completely human and the bigger one and image. he's the, the bigger yes. image and he's the, the one who appointed sean abrams the image itself still stands as a very strong image it's being used scores of times in cartoons mm, but all not over necessarily the world. here huh? but not necessarily here and the point was that it was another state organ another organ grinder's monkey it worked very well and it was a typical cartoon not done in a in those sort of typically those racist trope uh, images the which i'm very well aware of and i was aware of when i did the cartoon the thing is that did you test it with anyone I in sort of a little bit too in house. Mm. I didn't go wide enough, I suppose. And you know what? If I'd thought really hard, I would have thought there's no way in the same year as Penny Sparrow mm. to bring that kind of nuance that I was trying to do into the argument. I mean, to then somehow, as I've said many times, to be in the same sentence as Penny Sparrow was terrifying. 
mm. and 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 it was by far the worst uh, moment, uh, week, two weeks, three weeks of my career, occupation, whatever uh, mm. involvement as an activist in all of, in, in 35 years. It's the worst thing I've ever encountered. It's far worse than I've, I've said many times. It's far worse than being in detention without trial, which mm. which I had, which I experienced. It's worse than being than getting death threats. It's it's it's, it's well, felt well, it, like well, it's everything. It's questioning your being. It's questioning your everything that you've done for for all these decades, and saying, well, it was all completely a big sham and it's illegitimate. You know, you're just a at a, at heart a racist. Uh, that was the sense, and then I managed to kind of fight back from from that. And sort of find my way back, but it was really tough, and that's yeah, by far the worst experience I've ever had. No, no, no. He he'd already sued me for fifteen million rand for three other cartoons after okay. his rape trial in right. two thousand six. How much have you paid him to date? Zilch.